Good afternoon, everyone. We are here in Miami Beach with Mayor Maddie Herrera Bauer on the occasion of the fourth annual Women's Conference. Here to get Mayor Bauer's thoughts about the upcoming conference on Friday, March 16th, to find out the motivation behind it and to find out how it has developed over the last four years. So, Mayor Bauer, please tell us how this idea was conceived for the Mayor's Conference and uh, how it has developed over the years. Well, you know, being the first Hispanic and the first woman mayor, it was very important to me to show that it can be done, to make sure that the younger generation gets a, ro a role model, that they understand that you have to work hard, but that you can do it. And I thought it was a wonderful election that I had, and I wanted it to share with other people, to share it with other women, to bring the women in the forefront of uh, how we have done it and what difference we bring. That's wonderful. And please tell us a little bit more about your emphasis on having young women attend this conference. I know that's very important to you. It is very important to me. It's very important to me because we as women, not so much anymore, but we as women are always told that the first thing we have to do is get married, raise children, take care of the children, and that's wonderful for those women that want to do that. I think that they have to do it and, and they should do it because they want to do it. But there are women and that would like to do other things. There are women that like to be architects. There are women that like to just go out and work in an office. There are women that want to do so many diverse things. And I think that by encouraging the young generation, the student, the even younger, the younger child that is in elementary and junior high, and they grow up with this different, there is another choice. There is the choice of doing what you feel very strong that you want to do. I want to show them that there are many of us out there. And this year we have uh, two sessions for the mayor's panel. We have the first one being you're elected, now what, which you of course can speak to very clearly. The second one this year will be on identity theft and issues regarding being able to protect oneself legally and physically. And uh, I, I want to speak to you, first of all, about the first session. You're elected, now what? Can you tell us a little bit about your trajectory in office? Well, you know, I, a lot of people ask me that all the time. I'm not a planner, okay. so I never plan to run. I never plan afterwards what to do. It just comes. If you're there and you wait, you see what needs to be done. And I think we as women have that because we're mothers and, you know, even though I'm a mayor, I'm also a grandmother, a mother, I was a mother, a grandmother. And so you are used to trying to figure out how to make it better for your job, for your home. And so we have bring that to the table, that knowledge that we have that is within us. And so, I don't plan what to do, but I have done education. And Miami Beach is in the forefront of education because as a woman, I realized that parks and recreation are very important for women that work to make sure that they have a safe place after school for their children to go, for example. So my first step was when I realized that there was a not enough uh, recreation for children in the park was to set forward an agenda to bring that movement up. We now, after my many years of being here, have the largest budget in our, in, in our uh, budget, the largest is the parks and recreation because we give their computers, we dancing, we have all a very diverse curriculum there. So as a woman, I saw that as a need. As a woman, and I, and I saw the preservation issue that I fought long on hard that we still need to continue to fight that battle. And so that's one of the uh, issues that I fight. Also, affordable housing, I did. Why did I focus on affordable housing? Well, there's many reasons why I focus on it. Diversity on social economic is very important to keep this city as a vibrant city. But also, and not many people touch in this, is the fact that if you have an affordable housing for a mother with a child, that child will not be pushed
from school to school. You bring stability to the child because the child will be in the same school as long as the mother can afford the rent. One of the displacements of people and children and why children don't have a continual education is because they have to move around when they have to, they can't afford to pay the rent. So those are two issues that I can tell you. Well, very good, thank you so much. And as far as the second panel, I have heard recently in uh, news reports that uh, identity theft is a big problem in South Florida. Have you had reports recently about this problem on Miami Beach? I have not had uh, reports in Miami Beach, but I know that it happens. Uh, and actually, because I was running for mayor this last time, actually my Social Security was taken and by mistake was given to the my opponent. My mm -hmm. opponent put it in the internet. I had to call Social Security, mm -hmm. and it was such a bad incident that they wanted to give me a new Social Security number. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to change. So now I had to get a lawyer and make sure that, you know, it was a big, long stretch. So I can understand. I now recently bought a shredder. And so I shred all my uh, records uh, from the bills that I get and the checks that I get back. So make sure that nobody can take anything from me. I learned a little bit about that. Okay, so, so that's very important. Absolutely. No one is immune, even the mayor of Miami Beach. So this is a very important second panel that we're having. And just brief, briefly touch on the wonderful luncheon that we have at the garden. Oh, the, the luncheon is my best part. Of course, that's why I'm a little heavy because I like eating, but um, uh, we we have women chefs that come in and we can go around and the luncheon is going to be at the Botanical Garden, which is spectacular now. It was newly renovated and they have done such wonderful work there. And so we're going to be in the gardens and we're going to have beautiful lunch and of course beautiful company with all the women that I hope they come, particularly the younger ones. Absolutely, and not only will we will we be eating, but we will be shopping also this year. We have a silent auction Ooh. with wonderful gifts from our local business community. How so wonderful. that's a great feature this year. So thank you very much, Mayor oh, Bauer. Thank I you. appreciate your time. You. We want to thank Mayor Bauer for her time for hosting this uh, fourth annual women's conference coming up on Friday, March 16th. We want to welcome women from South Florida and beyond to our wonderful city, and uh, we hope to see you here. Thanks so much.